Welcome to Landria on Gun YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. Wow, I just did something huge in my own life, which I'm going to share with you within the next month. I'm going to hold it back until I actually complete this, this project that I'm going through with. I have a lot happening in this new year of 2019. This is going to be old very quickly. I want to ask you right now what you're looking to achieve. It's really exciting to start a new year. It's only one day, but we act like it's a reset for everything, and that's just an emotional, mental thing. You can reset every single day, right? We can all do that. But I want to ask you, what is that new goal? What are, what are those, let's just say, resolutions that you set? Now, I'm not a resolution maker. I actually do that every day. I ask myself what it is I need to change, what do I need to accomplish, and I'm constantly upping my game. I envision it, I see it, I know it is done. And then when things, you know, messages get sent to me from the universe that say, this isn't where you're supposed to be, I make the adjustments. I'm always listening and communicating. So we're going to have a video here shortly of expanding into your uh, intuition and your psychic abilities. Because instead of the manifesting exercises, we're actually going to start tapping into the power. And that's when you get super great at manifesting the things you desire. And you start to drop off the old stuff because it just doesn't even make sense anymore. So we're going to do a lot of advanced stuff in 2019. But the question is, what goal is it you're really going to accomplish? Because what I want to share with you in this video is that that goal has to be in alignment with the person who's going to be that person <clears throat> that is skinnier or more wealthy or has a good relationship. <coughs> Sorry. So who is that person? Remember that you have to, you must be the person who is experiencing that. Know that it is done. Well, the person that experiences this new body or new income or new whatever cannot be over here, fearful, questioning, doubt, it doesn't work, all this stuff. That person is not the same person that has these things, right? If you had these things, you wouldn't ask, be asking those questions. This is the disconnect where people don't understand why they're not manifesting things they desire. They have not shifted into the new reality. When you shift into the new reality, know it is done, right? Christ said that. You must know that it is already done. And then you're thankful for it because you're like, oh, I got the new job or I got the new relationship or whatever. Oh, thank you, thank you. It exists right now. So you start to operate and function every day knowing that it's done. And you don't worry about when it shows up. You're getting ready for it, right? You're starting to do and act, behave like that person who has the rocking body, who has more money. So you, you start to take the action in between A and B, where that starts to happen and show up in the material world, because you've shifted and become that person. You start thinking like that person. So ask yourself if you are setting goals that are not in the same frequency of what you're feeling and thinking now. You're just something you want means that you're still in lack mode. I desire it. It's separate from me. I'll track it. If I sit here and think about it and, and manifest enough, it'll show up. No, it won't show up. It cannot show up because your focus, if it is not on that with the belief and action, thoughts that it is already done, you will remain over here. And it's scary sometimes. I just did something huge. Like I said, I'm going to share with you in a month. It's... It's a big deal for me. It's a major life change that I made a decision on and I had to make a decision within like 24 hours because an opportunity came up and I had to take it or not. So you have to ask yourself, what happens when I don't take that opportunity? What happens when I decide that I'm going to keep eating the junk food? And then there's that day where you pass out and you're in the hospital and they say, you know, you're really gone. You're, you're, you're far gone. This is going to be a long road back to health. And you realize maybe a year ago when I had that resolution, I could have been a fit, healthy person right now, and now I'm fighting for my life. How about your relationship? Are you slacking off? Are you not appreciating the person you're with? Or are you staying in a relationship that's just not good for you or that person? What 
are you going to do about it? And who is the person that is in that new situation? How are you feeling? How are you thinking? What are you believing? And so you have to shift into that. So most of you find that extremely difficult. So that's what you must work on first before you set a goal that is nowhere in alignment with you, what you think and believe. And if, you don't, if you're not willing to believe and think and act like that new person, ask yourself why not? What's stopping you? And so look over here and say, you know, you have to really take a good look. I, and I'm not into analyzing. Left brain is over, you know. We're just done with that. It's, it's held us back. So sit and look at this situation and say, the things that I want to achieve, in, in three months am I going to go back to the old habits because that's just what I do? You know, I just go back to the old stuff because it's comfortable and it's just too much work to be the skinny person or too much work to learn something new. You know, a lot of you guys see my internet training. I'm putting it up more and more because you guys are getting it. You're understanding that if I don't learn something new, if I don't make a change or educate myself or, you know, start eating healthy and make those changes, nothing will change. And I'm going to sit here and complain about everything out there that I really don't know about. Right? How do you know what it's like to be a vegetarian if you haven't done it? You'd be amazed. Once you get past and you get off this stuff, you'll never be able to go back again. As soon as that meat enters your mouth, it feel, it actually it's like poison. Your body feels bad. It feels bad. It just feels wrong. Because now you're picking up on that negative energy. Until you go into that space and wean yourself off, you won't know. So and a lot of people, oh, vegetarian or vegan or whatever it is, and they knock it. It's, we're done criticizing each other. We're done judging and criticizing. Do what you want to do. Be okay with what other people do. And get on with it. Be your absolute best. So set that goal. Ask yourself, am I truly in alignment with it? Sit with it. And ask yourself, we're going to go more with the feelings and intuition now. Am I feeling like this is truly what I can do? Maybe I need to just shoot for 10 pounds and cut out, you know, 50% of the junk food. Or, you know, back off the cigarettes or whatever you're doing. Maybe baby steps is what you need to do. Do what you know that you feel comfortable and you feel it's doable and then take off the next step. Some of you are just going after goals that are so insane that you can't even imagine what it's like to be that. It's like saying I want to win the gold medal in running, you know, and I, you know, I'm 50 pounds overweight and I've never run, right? I'm not 50 pounds overweight and never run, by the way. That's just an example. So, you know, it's like why would you just... Just, you know, shoot for a goal where you're eventually going to run a mile every day. And so this is, this is why we get in trouble with resolutions. And then we get bummed out. And then we go way off the deep end, right? This is just this ridiculous thinking. So it should be something you do every day. Get in alignment with those feelings and say, does this feel right? Yeah, I can turn down that dessert. I can turn down that meat, what is, whatever it is. I can have that talk with my spouse and say, we need to work on our relationship. Maybe we need to get a counselor. You know, maybe I need to, to learn how to be kinder or here's what's, what I, I would love to see happen with us for us to improve our relationship. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make that happen. Are you on board with me? It's time to have those conversations. I had one this week. Really tough conversation I had to have. And guess what? It was amazing. It was like, what? This was what I was like, ugh, anxious about. And then it turned out amazing. So, you know, there's nothing to fear. There's really nothing to fear. So let's hit, let's set some goals and start to really work with it and become the person. Think as the person and know that you have to act and think and believe as that person and know it is done. I had another video on this. All right, so uh, we're going to work on our intuition, our psychic abilities, because they're accelerating. It's amazing what's going on right now. and You're going to start seeing a lot of reality shifts and things happening that you don't even realize you're doing. So wouldn't it be better to be in control of those things and making conscious choices than unconscious things? Blah, blah, blah. You're worthless. You're never going to do that. Oh, what makes you think you can learn that and be that? And you get all excited and you're like, oh, God, I just, what made me think I could do that? And then, of course, you're sending that message out, which it's instantaneous. There's no delay in it. 
and then you connect psychically and quantum you know field you're connecting to that field and that's your life you become a failure you lose things you do whatever and you're not even thinking that you have sent that message out and you're doing it all the time okay remember how do I manifest you're doing it right now what am I thinking what am I thinking that's it that's what you're creating right now boom that's your focus what am I thinking whoa yeah scary isn't it you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.